Welcome to Wachita's Tabletop World, a channel devoted to the love of board gaming. My name is Sweetie Swatchita, and today this is my overview and my thoughts on Murder at the Magic Mirror Casino. So this will be a spoiler-free video, but first we're going to kind of go through the items that are contained in the packet so you can get an idea of what you're buying, uh, and then we'll come back and I'll just give my brief spoiler-free thoughts about that. Okay, so all of these come inside of an um, evidence bag, which is uh, kind of a cool little thematic thing. And then once you go inside the envelope here, um, you're going to get an evidence checklist, just so you make sure that you have everything that you need. Um, there are newspaper clippings, you know, feels like a real newspaper, very cool. Uh, witness details, this is just like a statement of events. Um, and there's, of course, social, social media screen grabs that you can read through. Uh, this is um, some text message chain here from the you know police letterhead and stuff. Uh, then there's some emails printouts. Um, this is kind of, you know like all these paper the papers are all kind of feel different and then they have uh, you know real let letterheads and stuff so they definitely feel like different. This is just like a notice of termination, uh, certificate of release, autopsy report, and you can kind of see there there's some uh, stab wounds there, uh, ballistics report. And then some criminal profiles from the police department. There's a few of these in here. Uh, then uh, an interview. This is kind of like a witness, just a witness statement, basically, um, typed out here. Uh, psychiatric reports, audio uh, surveillance, which is kind of cool. Uh, maps showing like the casino and various other things close by. Marriage counseling notes. Um, a little printout from a magazine, uh, the vegan Las Vegas Las Vegas Vegan magazine. Um, another police report here with some photographs, uh, some surveillance photographs, some more surveillance photographs, uh, CCTV analysis. So some more pictures here, uh, internal memos, some text chains, um, letter found in the garbage, some flight plans. Uh, and then, of course, just the, the blueprints of the casino showing the camera angles and things. And then a couple of uh, newspapers. So kind of cool. So you can go through. These are feel very, you know, have a newspaper feel to them and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, has some information. Re some relevant, some not relevant to the case. So what are my thoughts on this? Um, first, firstly, let's just start like more generically about the system, about the way the game system works in general, and then I'll talk specifically about how I feel about uh, this case in general. So I played four of these so far. Um, I found them to be very enjoyable. And uh, this nature of a game, you just sort of open the folder and then you go at your own pace. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. Uh, you just read through and you'll read information and you'll you'll internalize it and then decide why that's important set it aside and then later on you'll think oh what was that again i think i saw this somewhere else and you'll go back and you'll kind of revisit those inf that those all those pieces of information over and over again so um one really cool thing about this system is that normally like in my background of playing uh, many board games that are mystery based is often there is um you know they have to constrain you in some way because if you read everything or got all the information then you would just be able to solve the case. And usually those have some kind of a uh, time focus or time penalty, and so you can't see everything, and you have to sort of make these deductive leaps. Um, here you just, you get everything, and you just have to go through and kind of figure out what's important and why. So it's very well done, and it's very um, kind of a cool way to do it. Now, all of the information that you're getting, all the things that you're looking through, uh, they're all like, like as I showed in the overview, you know, the paper is different um, textures, different qualities, uh, you know, different styles so that it feels different. And it really does feel like, and you get all these little um, extra pieces and bits in there, like hard plastic or, you know, just, and it really does feel like you're going through actual items and actual papers and stuff. And that really does help with the immersion. And I think that's really cool. Um, also the addition of the online stuff, um, whether that, and again, I'm not going to spoil it. So I'll just say in general, like, you know, whether you're getting video or audio clips, um, you know, or news clips and things like that. It's really kind of cool to be able to see that and to uh, to mix up the kinds of information you're getting. It really kind of feels realistic. Um, before on my on other reviews of this, I've kind of mentioned that it kind of feels like, you know, you're this old detective and, you know, you, you've gone into retirement and, and somebody's come up and, and just said, hey, listen, we can't solve this case. 
and they set the box down. Here's a bunch of information. Here's the files and everything. Why don't you see if you can take a look? And that's kind of what it feels like. You just get yourself a cup of tea, maybe some uh, some kind of a snack, and then you're just sipping your coffee and you know going through the information, and it's quite fun. Um, I've played these solo which are very enjoyable. It generally takes between one and two hours, depending on what kind of a pace you go at. I've also played them in, uh, with multiplayer, and I think both are fun. It's fun to just kind of introspectively like, hmm, I wonder what this is, and kind of looking through. And it's a nice little solo activity. But of course, working in a group or with more people, you can bounce ideas and stuff, and that can be very enjoyable as well. Read a piece of information, and then sort of reflect as a group as to what you thought about it. And there's enough information here where People can be looking at different things. If you want, you can take it piecemeal and everybody can look at the same thing at once. Um, if you prefer, everybody can look at it things separately and that gives everybody their own little job and they can say, oh, I have something about that. You know, So you can kind of decide how you're gonna parse out that information and I think that's a nice little thing for just your particular group or you know personal taste. Okay, so what do I think about this case specifically? The, the casino, the Magic Mirror Casino. I really like the setting and the setup. Uh, you have an ex-con, you learn this right away. You have an ex-con, uh, who was in jail for man manslaughter and now they're out and they've been murdered. So it kind of creates this nice little situation where, you know, there's the past, there's the events that led him to get into jail and you have those existing and now you have the current crime and some other criminal activity. Of course, being around a casino, you have the uh, you have police and organized crime activity, and that's a big big element to this uh, particular case. So there's a lot of like different characters, a lot of different motives, a lot of things going on, and it creates a really nice soup that you have to go through and uh, figure out and look into and solve. Okay, so there's a lot of characters, uh, a lot of interesting things and information to go through, and so like all of the cases I played so far, I found it to be very interesting. But out of the four, I would say this is my least favorite so far, and the reason is is because um, and again, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's one piece of information that you get, and I won't say like whether it's a video or whatever, it's just something that you get, and it's so compelling that it pushes all the other information out the window, and luckily I didn't get access to this piece of information until about three quarters of the way in as I was doing the case, and at that point, everything else I did was sort of just busy work, like, okay, I know the answer, let's just go through, chase down these other leads and things, you know, just for completionist or perfectionist sake. And so that was kind of a bummer because this case was very well thought out. Everything was really interesting. I think they just gave you a little too much, a little too easy. This was definitely the easiest case that I played so far. And for that reason, it actually might be the best one to start with. So if you've never played any of these before, um, this might be a really good one to start with if you want to just get the idea and understand the system of like reading things and how things work. Or if you're playing with some non-gamers or some people that are not as... Um, used to this style of game so that might be a good starting point um also the, the there was a lot of cool components here of course like the whole series has uh you know audio video type stuff online the, the newspapers and the different fields of paper and things but um it also didn't have as good a mix of um you know physical items that you do get in some of the games like some of the games you get some hard plastic coaster of you know, like, you know, like magazines things like that so you get like a little bit more interesting things in the mix now that definitely it, this has nice components but uh in terms of the other uh, cases in the series definitely on the lower end i think of those uh so yeah i mean still very very solid very enjoyable to play through um but i would say uh, definitely on the easier side and and less interesting in terms of the components and things like that but definitely still a solid case so if you're looking to play through them all i would i still think you will enjoy it i did enjoy it i just wish it wasn't quite so easy uh, on this particular one but that's how i felt about it please let me know in the comments if you disagree or if you have um, other questions or anything like that for now i gotta roll